Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss one of the AWS Well Architected Framework. So we have discussed uh, the AWS Well Architected Framework in our previous video. So Well Architected Frameworks helps cloud architects build secure, high performing, resilient and efficient infrastructure for a variety of application and workloads. So this helps a lot. Actually, these are the guidelines which have been uh, given by AWS and they have taken or they have used uh, years of experience of different uh, cloud architecture and these guidelines will be very much helpful when we are working in cloud. So we are going to discuss one of the pillars of this AWS Well Architected Framework and that is Operational Excellence Pillar. Now the Operational Excellence Pillar includes the ability to support development and run workloads effectively. So first of all, it means they are there to support development and run workloads. So what workload, what does it mean? So workload is basically a collection of resources and code that delivers business value. Now, for example, this can be simply a marketing website, let's say. That can also be a backend for a mobile app, or that can also be some analytic platform. So this is something, some examples, uh, these are some examples of workloads. So now to support and develop those workloads, we have this pillar, uh, operational excellence. So with this pillar, we can gain insights into the operations of workloads. We can have some guidelines for managing and automating changes for those workloads and to also continually improve supporting process, uh, processes and procedures and by responding to events to deliver business value. So this is something which is operational excellence actually is supposed to, uh, I mean, give us guidance about. So this pillar actually gives an overview of design principles, best practice areas and questions. What are best practices? Best practices are just the approaches, processes, and methods that have been shown, uh, that have shown to lead to good outcomes. It means we have to come up with this, some architecture of our workload or maybe our, let's say, marketing website. And for that architecture, we need some help, those guidelines or the framework. And that framework has uh, six, uh, let's say, pillars. And we are going to discuss operational excellence and operational excellence deals or guides us from this perspective. So first we are going to discuss the design principles for operational excellence in the cloud. So first design principle is perform operation as code, make frequent small reversible changes, refine operation procedures frequently, anticipate failure, learn from all operational failures. So these are the design principles. Um, given by this operational excellence pillar of this AWS Well Architect and let's say briefly discuss all of them. So first principle is perform operation as code. So this means the entire workload, so workload as we discussed this can be an application that can be an infrastructure. So they are recommended to be performed as a code and these code can be made automatic and they can these code can also be event driven it means they are expecting or they are waiting for some event to occur and then they can get executed and this automation or this performance with the help of code or this operation with the help of code actually reduces the human errors and enables consistent response to events second design principle is make frequent small reversible changes. So it means when we are making some changes, those changes should be made in small increments so that if there is any problem, then they should be reversed. And the changes, whatever changes we are going to make, they should have least effect on the customers. Third design principle is to define operations procedures frequently. So as per third design principle, we continuously look for opportunities in our operations so that we can then, then improve them or maybe update them. And for that, we can also use regular game days. So game days means we can actually simulate some uh, failure in our systems and then we can see that what happens or do we have appropriate procedures. Or let's say we can see whether our team is ready to, to face those failures or not. Third design principle is anticipate failure. So in this 
we identify potential sources of failure in order to remove or mitigate them. So we are going to anticipate failure in our system and our workload. And this opportunity, uh, this also gives an opportunity to assess the impact of those failures. And the fifth design principle is learn from all operational failures. That's very much important that we will have all the documentation and then those documentation about those failures will be shared with our team, with the organizations. So they may be helpful for logging purpose or that may be helpful in our, maybe in future, if the same kind of failures occurs. And now this operational excellence also provides or gives us four best practice areas and those best practice area will have some foundational question and foundational question can help and will give us some context and some best practices as well. So the best practice areas are divided in organization, prepare, operate, evolve. So first best practice area is organization. So it means in this case, we need to understand the organization itself. We need to understand the organization priorities, their structure and how the organization is going to support team so that they can work for business outcome. So let's say we need to have some model organization, uh, sorry, operating model. We need to have some organizational culture with us. And this practice area covers some of, uh, gives us some foundational question which can further help us to come up with the best architecture for our workload. So these questions are how do you determine what your priorities are? How do you structure your organization to support your business outcome? How does your organizational culture support your business outcomes? So here, these are some of the foundational questions and the relevant context and the best practices are given on the links which I'll be sharing with you. So there's, there's, a, there's a document. Uh, this will give you further details on that. The second best practice areas is to prepare. So here, we this is for preparation for operational excellence. So you need to perform the following. We need to have design telemetry. It's a design telemetry means we should be able to monitor the health of our different components supporting our workload. And design for operations, mitigate deployment risks, operational readiness and change management. And uh, here, how do you design your workload? So this is the foundational question that how do you design your workload so that you can understand its state? And now for its context and uh, its um, its best practices are given in the document which you can which I'll again put in the description section but this is uh, prepare one of the best practices best practice areas of uh, operational excellence pillar and there are the foundational questions how do you design your workload so that you can understand its state and how do you reduce defects ease remediations and improve flow its uh, flow into productions. How do you reduce defects, ease remediation and improve flow into work day? Uh, so, I mean, sorry, maybe I have uh, repeated the same question. So these are some foundational questions which can help us to come up with the same more effective thing. And how do you mitigate deployment risks as well? Third, uh, Best, uh, best practice area is to operate. Operation, essentially, you, you know that operation is the key to the achievement of any business uh, outcome. And to be successful, you need to understand the workload health. So workload, again, it means kind of application or some whatever you are, we, are, we are deploying in health. We need to understand that. We should have understanding about the operational health. And if there are some events or some kind of failures, then we should be able to respond it. So we need to have understanding of this. And the foundational question can be, how do you understand the health of your workload? You should have proper guidelines, some context, some best practices. And how do you understand the health of your operations? How do you manage workloads and operation events? And now the fourth is evolve. So you can see the evolution of uh, is a continuous cycle of improvement. The system keep, ev keep evolving and which is achieved by making small incremental changes for improvement on the basis of lessons learned during operation. So we need to evolve and system needs to be evolved as per our experiences, as per our lessons learned. 
And to evolve your operation over time, you must learn, share and improve. And these are foundational questions that how do you evolve operations? So this is it for this video. We discussed one of the AWS well architected framework that is operational excellence. And we saw some of the design principles and some of the best practice areas and some of the foundational questions we went through this. Actually, this is a, um, uh, there's a document which I'll be sharing in the description section. This will be very much helpful for further details, but as far as a brief overview of that is concerned, so I just have tried to go through all this. Thank you, and thank you very much. Hope to see you in other video on this on one of the pillars of AWS well-architected framework.